Hello everyone. Welcome back to Juicy June. We are on our way to Home Goods. It's been a little bit. I feel like it's been a while since we've gone, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little bit since we've gone to Home Goods. Um, I just want to see honestly what's new. I want to see if there's anything cool for, for the house. Um, I really want to pick back up on the home projects for the next couple of months, which I keep forgetting to write down like what we want to do to prioritize. Um, so a couple things that we want to finish. He wants to finish the grout, or not the grout, the backsplash. There's just one little corner of the kitchen that doesn't have backsplash yet. So we just have to get, what is it? Is it more tile or more grout? You have to, I remember you said you needed some materials or something. Glue and a blade. Glue and a blade so that he can finish that. So that's one project. That'll be, I guess, on, I guess on the small-ish side. And then um, I want to continue on with the freaking bathroom. So what I really want to try to find is a mirror. Although we do have the mirror that's there, like the placeholder, that's just not the mirror that I want permanently. Um, we're going to the airport side, the airport one, or the one on Cimarron. Um Yeah, that's not the mirror that I want there. I really want to get like, a bath mat, like a newer bath mat. I want a new shower curtain for that bathroom. I want shelving units for that bathroom. I want cool, like just cool stuff for that bathroom. I just am not, I'm trying not to rush it because I don't want to get things that like, I don't like absolutely see for the vision. So we'll see if there's a cool mirror. I talked about the one that I want a few times. I want like one of those imperfect shaped ones, but it has to be big enough because the bathroom mirror like the area for the bathroom mirror is pretty big so it needs to be able to fit that scale if not it's gonna look stupid we did see a mirror a cup like the last time we went to home goods this was a while ago it was the cool it would have been perfect it would have been the perfect mirror it was black and white <clears throat> like what was it, like stone or marble or something really 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 heavy it was sorry it was $250 though and I was like oh definitely not trying to spend that much on a freaking mirror but the size of it was perfect the shape of it was perfect and it looked unique and cool I'm not getting that though like I'm not spending $250 on a mirror um, but if we see anything else that's cool anything for like print wise if there's another like fun funky print in there that um just would go anything else i need like i said i need a new trash can i need a shower curtain i need all the other things and then i'm waiting for another sale to go on on anthropology to get the um toilet paper holder that i wanted the peacock one because i will not i refuse to get any other one but that one like that is the one that i want um but it's like 60 dollars, so i want to wait till there's some sort of sale which they do sales pretty often i really want to start the um like bar area but that's gonna be the biggest project ever ever because that's gonna be like a whole room so i haven't really purchased anything for that room like at all i might do like lots of like thrifting and like vintage shopping for that because i want it to have like a very like speakeasy sort of feel to it um but we'll see so we're gonna go to home goods and we're gonna go through every aisle and see if we find anything. Budget is $50 if we find anything. So if I find something and it's more than $50, it'll have to, it'll have to be really, really good for me to budge on $50. But if we find anything that's like, oh my God, yes, this would be perfect for X, Y, and Z, it has to be under $50. But if not, then I'm not taking anything. All right, this looks. Very expensive. Okay. These are really cute for outside. Looks like plastic. Ten dollars. This is a really pretty tray. I don't need it, but it's a big like marble. is giving like Nancy Myers. This is adorable. $30. Okay. 
Let's see if there's any good candles. Doubt it. Oh. Everything is either neutral, white. Yeah, I don't have anything too spicy. Yeah, nothing like funky. Which is fine. Like, I would get one of these for like our bathroom, like the master bathroom, but. And like, I don't want smiley faces. This is a really cool little sideboard. Like, I really like this. I like the color, matches my shoes. So far, nothing. We're in the mirrors. This one's nice, $100. This one's pretty cool too. But I don't want anything gold. That's the issue. Huh? Hold on, I'll be right there. Let's put that there. Oh, no. The square one is cool. This one's really good. That's what it looks like. But here's a squiggly one, but it's not the squiggly shape I want. Round and so over the circle. Mirrors. Oh, that's a massive mirror. Holy cow. It's a good size mirror. This is huge. It's $400. Big. That gives um, Joey and Chandler. It's comfy. $500. <laughs> this is very fun. I don't need this, but all the colors and the way it looks grab my attention. Tyler's over there. Lots of cool things over here, but nothing that I need. That's pretty cool. This is interesting. Just found this neon sign that says Prosecco. I kind of feel like I need this for the bar and I can just save it until we use it. And it's on sale for 15. I think I'm gonna put this just to hold on to it. That looks good. So they have some of the drink. I don't like this one because this doesn't have a frame, but these are really cute. Tom Collins, which I like. French 75, one of my favorite drinks. Super cute. They have an apple spritz one. are very very cute I think that's all we're gonna find over here though we're in the outdoor section okay here's what I have in the cart kind of a mess but still have a couple things to leave with so we have left the husband at home. We left the husband at home so that we can take a quick trip to Target. I'm only gonna go to Target. I'm not gonna go to TJ Maxx. I just don't think I'm gonna find anything at TJ Maxx. I don't need anything from TJ Maxx. Um, but at Target, I'm at least gonna pick up some Olipops, the uh, cream soda flavor. I'll probably get a strawberry vanilla. I might get a couple flavors because my Publix has not been hitting with the Olipops. So I'm probably gonna get a couple and then I think there's this skirt that I tried on a couple of weeks ago That I did not show you guys. I, I posted it on TikTok. Um, I didn't show it on Instagram or on YouTube, but it's chartreuse, which is my favorite color to wear in the summer It's like this limey yellowy green um, And I told myself if I kept thinking about it, then I would go back and get it and I know you're probably like you're not supposed to buy anything but 
I got rid I've purged so far one two three items from my closet and in order for me to get anything new if I'm not going based off of the one item I have to get rid of two items so like for any one item that I bring in I have to one let the item sit for at least a week like I have to think about it for at least a week and if I want it still then I can process it then I can move forward and um, I have to get rid of two items before I even think about going back for it so that was exactly I think a week ago maybe Let me check that was like it was forever ago honestly which target should i go to i went 612 which was yeah over a week ago so i um if they have it and if they have it in my size i'm definitely gonna pick that up and there was also like this little basic tank top which i don't have enough basics i'm realizing like to just throw on quickly with like my linen pants or my linen skirts um, I have my two strapless shirts and then like a couple of bodysuits. So there was this one peachy colored, um, I think it was like $6. So I will also grab that if they have it. And then I'm just going to get Olipops and that's literally all I'm getting. So I will see you guys at um, Target. I will show you guys the pieces. <sighs> I should have gone to the other Target. I'm right next to TJ Maxx. So should I just go in? Since I'm here, I feel like I should. I love this. It's 9.99. I think I want it. I put it back because the line was too long, which just proves that I didn't eat it. So, to Target we go. Okay, so this was the skirt that I wanted, but they had it in chartreuse, and now it's gone. So that sucks. But they do have the tank. So I'm gonna get this. I'm back home and I don't know if I showed you guys what I ended up like, like giving you a haul, I guess, of home goods. But I got this little tray, or it's like a bowl. It says it's a nut bowl, but I feel like this would be good for like olives or just like a really pretty, I don't know, just to serve anything or even just like a, like a dish. It's really cute. Like I could set it here on my entry table. This was five bucks. We got some new knives. These are Brookstone knives six bucks for two which is cheap as shit and then this neon led light that i'm going to save for when we do the office room or office room bar it says prosecco and that's what it looks like when it's lit up how cute so i figured if we have like a wall of just like proseccos i can put this like above it so that is everything for today i am so tired I've been literally either in the car or out all day, so I'm exhausted. I'm looking for my chips. to eat some of these which I love from Aldi they brought them back um, and then get to editing so I will see you guys tomorrow